on the top, so we just put them to a rock. At least we're gonna grab some oil in that Teflon tape and get straight to What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? So second stop, Best Buy. We already got the oil. I forgot to show y'all. Hey, brother, can you pop the trunk real quick? That then forgot to show y'all the oil. So can show y'all real quick. Got that Mobile One full synthetic. Feel me? High mileage joint, cause mom is at 82. He's a little old nigga. All right. Then we got the uh, got the Mobile One oil filter. And I also went ahead, got the Teflon tape and some LED bulbs for the license plate. So, stop number one was a success, thankfully. Now, let's see if I can't get a new tripod for the camera. I don't know, y'all. Looking at cameras too. Might pull the trigger. I'm trying to see if we can find a tripod, man. I can't find it, but so. This one looks kind of decent. The other ones look kind of like they're too big. I might put sugar on this one. What is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? So, uh, back in the car now, we did end up getting a tripod. Thank God. Hey, you know give saying? me my shit. That's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> end up getting this joint right here. So, this joint right here. You know what I'm saying? Bend them joints. Yes, sir. I'm fucking with that. The tripod on there now, we set. You know what I'm saying? We put everything else back in the bag. We'll get back to the crib and get this oil change done. Damn, it's about to be 3 o'clock. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all when we get there. All right, y'all. Finna get the car up on the ramps. My boy got him a vlogging set up. You dig? My boy, big versatile. Yes, sir. My boy got him a new camera. Hey, let him know. What is it? ZV1 in this bitch. Yes, sir. My boy got him a new camera, man. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and check out his channel. Subscribe. He got the versatile vet, man. Versatile speed on the YouTube, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to my best yes, channel. Now I'm gonna be able to get my viewers two angles, one on the mounted GoPro on the top. Yeah, that sure. is GoPro Hero 7 Black 8. Then I got the ZV1 right here. Make sure y'all go check me out. No cap, man. So we're about to get the car aired up and then roll it onto ramps and get the oil drained out. Let's get it, man. All right, guys, so this is actually going to be my first time changing the oil on Mamba. I haven't done it on the SS. I've always done it on the V6, as you guys know. Hazel, I got multiple videos doing oil changes on that car. Uh, speaking of oil, should we unlock the vet and uh, pull out what we're going to be putting in the car today? With the carbon fibers on the roof, she's just a little dirty. Uh, got that Mobile One high mileage. Went ahead and got... 10 quarts. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk and get out my power wrench. My boy Lester is coming to save the day with the oil filter because they definitely gave me the wrong one. <laughs> like, completely wrong. It's the actual, it's the one that would go in a V6. So that's uh, upsetting, but it's all good. My boy Lester saving the day, coming in clutch with the filter, so we're about to get this job done, man. Let's get it. One is going to be pulling the drain plug um it's going to be a 15 millimeter i'm trying to get the camera to focus for y'all so we got the 15 and then oil filter so we about to get it give us one second let me go ahead and break it and then got the oil pan right here so we'll be able to just pour it down let's get it So, I don't really know if this is true, but I've always heard that if you 
take off the oil cap. It'll, It'll help it flow. It'll be drain better. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Professor Know It All. I appreciate you for all your all your help and support. All of it. Oh damn, bruh. Alright y'all, so I done messed up and um I don't know how but the oil like as y'all seen in the video big epic fail now it all spilt out but next step is gonna be to get the oil filter off replace the oil filter i'm gonna pour some oil into that filter and then replace it and um and then we just top off the engine with oil crank it up let it run make sure everything's cool roll it off the ramps and that's gonna be it and then we move on to fixing the trunk i was just fucking with you bro damn this nigga big capping on me all day Taking this off. Ooh, that's hot, boy. Ugh. That's hot as hell, boy. Goddamn. Ugh. And now that you got the oil filter off, even though we done made a big mess, we're gonna pull out the oil. Alrighty, y'all. So, finally got through all the mishaps, got everything taken off. Now we're about to put on the new oil filter. Um, I'm gonna take off the oil catch can, pour that out as well while we're at it, and fill the car up with oil, man. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the new oil in the rings and on the seal. I'm about to go ahead and put the oil filter on. The drain plug is already tightened down. Put the oil filter on, fill it up with oil. Let's get it, man. All right, y'all, Lester's gonna go get the funnel right now. We're in that Houston heat, baby. It ain't, it ain't sweet. It's not sweet, you know what I'm saying? I'm in here cooking. All right, bro, stop playing with me, dog. Mm. Little bit, there you go, there you go. Uh, Alright y'all, so the oil change is complete, um, but there's one more step that you have to do. Is he going to swing it? Nah, he being regular today, he being calm. Okay, so after you do the oil change, you're going to want to crank up your car. And then information menu, you go down to oil. And then you just press this button right here. And it's gonna ask you, are you sure? You scroll up, you press it again. And now it's back to, now it's back to 100%. And just take down how many miles you had on the car when you did the oil change, put in your notes or something like that. And that way you'll be able to calculate how many miles you have till the next oil change. You know what I'm saying? Based off of like what you wanna do. You could just turn your car off um, with the door open like that put it in auxiliary or whatever and then I have 82,164 miles on my car right now so I'm finna go ahead and close the hood all right guys so I moved the car all the way back over here definitely got a washer to get this oil print off of my bumper and on the door um and then it's just really filthy overall to be honest but I just raised it all the way up because Les was about to wash his car and I don't want the dirt from the water flowing down here to get on my car because there's oil in this water and if i air out it's definitely going to get on my car um so right now i'm about to go ahead and get this wrench set from lester i'm gonna take off this fitting um and i might even take off this fitting right here and just retape the lines and hopefully that stops the leak um this was never changed i don't believe um, so I think we should be straight on that, but I might just take this off and retape it off as well Just to be on the safe side. I hope this stops the leak because I'm not gonna lie. It's really annoying So hopefully that fixes it. Lester blessed us with the 
the adjustable joint so we should be straight what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and pop off this line oh well i gotta take out all the air in the tank so here we go oh shit i gotta turn the car off i'm tripping I'm working on the car all day okay but so let's pull that in push that in pull that joint out and the same concept over here pull that joint out and now we're gonna go ahead take the tool take the joint off oh shit oh it just pulled right out so definitely want to just redo the whole thing just redo this joint and hopefully hopefully we're straight i might go ahead and probably redo the tanks line as well just to be on the safe side alrighty guys so got the tape i'm gonna go ahead and put the line down fitting down on the end of it Put a good amount on there. Hopefully, it's not too much. About to go ahead and put it in the tank. Should be straight. Okay, now I'm gonna reconnect the line. Do the same thing on this end. And I'm gonna crank up the car, let the tank fill up. And like I said, it was a slow, it was a slow, steady leak. Just wrapping that up and putting it in. Okay. Oh, car's a mess right now, man. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the car on and let the tank let the compressor fill the tank up and i'll just keep watching it throughout the day um and make sure it's not leaking because uh, it was like a slow steady leak so hopefully after redoing the tape um we should be good hopefully fingers crossed man but man oh man it is hot today it is really hot today jesus christ but um just gonna let it fill up and I'll get back to y'all. Really and truly, I'm probably gonna wash my car. I've done so many edits of me washing my car. I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of them. But my car is filthy. It is a white Camaro. Just like the vet, they get dirty damn near every week. Look, my boy Big vlogging on vlogging with his new camera setup, man. Y'all go check him out, Versatile Speed. But um, yeah, man, that's probably gonna be it for this video. I might watch the car real quick and then wrap this video up. So yeah, man, I don't know. It's cool if I wash my car, bro. See, I'm, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? So might watch the car real quick for y'all and then end this video. Tank is finally full. It's at 47, the compressor stopped. I'm hoping that it stays at 147. The camera will not focus, um, but I'm hoping that it stays at 147. I'm gonna go ahead and cut her off. So what you wanna do is you wanna, there's a little tab. I'll show y'all real quick. There's a little tab right here, this little tab. You wanna stick like a flat head or if you got long nails like I do, you could just use your nail. in there and it comes up now to get the clips off I'm just gonna want to pop that off dang this joint's been in the mud or something Sheesh, look at how dirty that is guys it's bad but just twist it off to get the bulb out the bulb comes out i it in like that then you take the housing feed the teeth in and then you turn all the way and make sure it's locked tight. Take the harness, plug it back in. And feed it back into the bunk. And go left in first and then push the bottom of the right end and it'll pop in. 
There we go, guys. You can't really see because, you know, it's daytime. But they're on, and at night, they're going to look so amazing. We're about to get Lester's car moved, put my car right there, just like that. Boom. Just like that, we switched places. I'm about to go ahead and wash Mamba real quick, so y'all enjoy this time lapse. As y'all can see, Mamba is all clean. Go ahead, push to the crib. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Push to the crib, hop in the shower real quick, and get ready to go to the track. Got Mamba clean, got the vet clean. Mamba in here going dummy. Y'all make sure y'all smash that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I'm recording on my phone because my camera died. Hit that thumbs up, turn on post notifications, and drop a comment in the comment section down below. But without further ado, that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Hey.